A flyout page contains flyout and detail properties that are both of type page, which are used to get and set the flyout and detail pages respectively. A flyout contains the menu list and the detail page that displays the details. The detail page is a content holder that can hold another page, which is linked to the flyout page's menus. Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech in audio. In this video lesson, you will learn how create a Xamarin Forms flyout page. Now let's open the Visual Studio and do some coding. The flyout is the one displayed here, and the detail is the page display here. I already created the project and pages we needed to navigate, such as Home, About, Courses and Logout page. This is a blank template, so let's change this page into a flyout page. We also need to change the parent class of our code behind. Then we can now add the flyout and its detail. Flyout is a content page that displays the basic information for all the pages you intend to navigate. While the flyout page, detail is the page that displays the corresponds to the item selected on the flyout page. We could add a content page here, like what we did in hierarchical or tabbed paged. But it would be better to reference a separate page. Before we create our flyout page, let's first create the data model for our page item. Here are the details I want to see on my flyout page. And this target is where we store our page. Its data type is type. It represents type declarations such as class types, interface type, array types, enumeration types, and so on. Now that we have a data model for our menu items, let's now create our flyout menu page. I added XML namespace to access our local pages. Then, I created a list view and assigned the array of elements with a data type of flyout page item, the data model we just created a while ago. I've added four data to the array. And these are the title and the icons would like to display on the flyout menu page. Then we also assigned to target the page we would like to display in detail page after selecting an item. I also created a template on how these items display or arrange in our flyout menu. We can now go back to our main page and add this page. Let's add first the namespace to access our local pages.
On the detail page, I've added a navigation page and passed the home page. Here you will need to put the page you want to display first upon running the app. Let's run the app. The details on the menu overlap, I forgot to set the column location of the title property. Let's also change the image on each item. So here display the flyout menu page. And these are items from the list. Now if we click the item. As you can see, the detail page didn't change or jump to another page. This is because we didn't created yet the item selected event in our list view element. We need to create the event on this page. So what we need to do is to access the list view here and create the event. To do that, we need to set its field modifier to public. So here, we give our list view an identifier and set it field modifier to public so that we can access this list view on flyout page. One last change to access this list view. We need to give this page an identifier, since this is the page where the list view is located. Now that we have access to list view, we will manually create the event in code behind. This line will add the item selected event. Now to solve this error, just hover your mouse pointer to it. And select this. This will generate the method for our event handler. This line will cast the selected item into flyout page item. Then we get its target property. And cast it to new navigation page. Then assign to detail. We also set the selected item to null to unselected the item. Then this line will hide the flyout menu after selecting an item. Let run again. We could also add title to each page to know the currently open page. We could center this text by setting its vertical options to center. So that's how we create flyout page. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone.